Hey, this is Dan from MSS Enduralist. Welcome to the channel. You don't know anything about what's coming. How to survive a nuclear terrorist attack. You can increase your chances of staying alive if you know how to decrease your exposure to radiation. You will need potassium iodide, shelter, and decontamination. Step 1. Have potassium iodide on hand. You may need it to protect your thyroid from the radioactive iodine fallout of a nuclear event. It is available without a prescription. Ask your pharmacist for an FDA-approved brand and dosage guidelines. In the event of an attack, emergency officials may advise people over 40 not to take potassium iodide since they have the lowest chance of developing thyroid cancer or thyroid injury after exposure to radioactive iodine. Step 2. If an attack is imminent, get indoors and go as far below ground as you can. If that's not possible, seek whatever shelter you can. Step 3. Once indoors, close all windows and doors and turn off air conditioners, heaters, and other ventilation systems. Step 4. If you can't get to a building, stay inside your car. Close the windows and vents, turn off the heat and AC, and hold a cloth over your mouth and nose to avoid breathing in radioactive dust and smoke. Step 5. If you're caught outdoors or very near the blast when it happens, don't look at it or you risk temporary or even permanent blindness. Keep your mouth open so your eardrums don't burst. Don't touch objects thrown by an explosion, they might be radioactive. Step 6. If you are more than 10 miles from the epicenter of the blast, remain in the shelter for 48 to 72 hours after the blast. Step 7. If you are closer than 10 miles to the epicenter after the explosion, get moving. You have 10 to 20 minutes to get at least a mile away from the mushroom cloud or you risk lethal radiation poisoning. Be sure to move downwind or perpendicular to the wind. Step 8. Keep your mouth, nose, and as much of your skin covered as you move away from the blast area. Once you're at a safe distance, take off your clothes. This alone may get rid of up to 80% of radioactive dust. Then take a shower.